do with this? Do you do you heat these up and I put these in like a warmer? I have a warmer. Or do you just you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I would. I will, okay. I will do that then. When that other stuff is done. Because you want to do that kind of last thing. Yeah, that's the last thing you want to do. And then, so we're going to do like a little onion, garlic, tomato salsa. to That spice nice. And then we'll throw the chicken in and it'll be a little, mm. a little tastier than what it is. I see. Ooh. Like I said, it's not, it's not bad tasting. It's just... And I got some of the crispy Meaning the prepackaged spices that you get an envelope of taco spice yeah. or seasoning yeah. when you can just create your own using the right stuff. I get it. It smells good already. It's just onion and oil right now. Baby girl, can you bring those tomatoes and put them in there? So those are three or four Diced tomatoes, sliced tomatoes. Or two, maybe two of the biggest ones. And all I'm doing is I'm shredding the chicken so that it has more surface area for flavor. Mmm. And of course we did, a, we used our pre, pre-cooked chicken. We got some. Not for very long. Oh, the, uh, these are two dips that go in the oven. Oh. Nice. One is spinach artichoke. Yes. And the other is a jalapeno uh, popper. Or something oh, like that. Boy, does that look good. Okay. And then add the salt, pepper, and garlic to the ground. And I'll move out of the way while you do that because those are here. And salt and pepper Ooh. are to your right. Well, I'm really glad I didn't have any of this. What did you do? Oh, Tomato. And we used olive oil? Yes. Like about two, three tablespoons maybe? Yeah, we just want it enough to mess it stick. Gotcha. So while Christy shreds that pre cooked chicken, we sweat it. Oh, we sweated the onion. Now putting in that sliced red tomato. Mm -hmm. Where's the salt? To the uh, right. Use the garlic and the onion powder and the. Um, mm, those are here. Garlic and Ooh. onion powder. And a little bit of cumin. Yeah, I love the cumin. Right. And of course, we got pulled pork for the other. And the big secret is it's taco night. And we are just yeah. so happy. Taco night for Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all the dads. Is the garlic? Yeah. What's that one? Cumin? Yeah, a little bit. Heck yeah. I love that stuff. I'm convinced that cumin is an integral part of Doritos. Cumin. And even... In the Bill Miller's apple pie glaze. I have this feeling, I just do, or crumble topping rather. Boy, that smells really good. And you gave those veggies time to get a little sweat. And what are we at? Medium there? Yeah. Okay, medium heat. Five, six. This is an electric stove. Oh, you're doing, you're doing up the chicken first. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Oh. So beautifully shredded. Now we're adding water. Oh, yeah. The smell right now. That chicken is going to be seasoned so beautifully. And it gets such great color. Wow. Heck, yeah in a nice deep skillet. I probably could have done with a smaller one. Okay. To help concentrate the flavor. Ah, oh, all right. Like the kind you do for eggs, you mean? Yeah. Okay. Just because it's not, it's not a lot of chicken. All right. But we want to make sure we deglaze the pan, right? So all of the stuff. Mmm, certainly. 
Bless you. <laughs> Start to simmer, then we'll throw the chicken in and we'll do Look at how beautiful that looks. All right, come with me this minute. It's magic. Oh, there it is. I'm seeing some bubbling. Oh, that's beautiful. And the smell just keeps getting better and better by the moment. Whew. Boy, oh boy. I'm trying to control myself, but there's just going to be so much food tonight. I'm going to make sure I get the little bits in and not the big bits. Mm -hmm. And we chopped up the jalapeno and we diced tomato and we shredded lettuce, iceberg lettuce, crisp cold lettuce. And we chopped some onion and we have the avocado is so soft and at the peak of ripeness. So we have those all ready and set aside on the table. And we're still at medium heat, is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just really want it to warm the chicken since the chicken's cooked and sort of infuse some of the flavor. Mm. You can smell what's happening. We were chasing the deer in the neighborhood. You saw the deer. Yeah, we saw two little babies in a yard around the corner from here. They're kind of like gangsters. They That's took my lilies, man. They sleep on the porch at night. I'm like, you guys, you know, it's not your fault, but at the same time, it's a lot. <laughs> Gee whiz. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm going to take a turn stirring. Moving it around like I'm cooking. This is me pretending to cook. <laughs> Oh my God, the smell right now. Okay, let me back up. So good. And so we're having chicken and we're having pulled pork. There you are. So, oh, there's Grandpa. We hear Dad, Tony in the other room. Where do you want me to put this when it's done? And then I'll... Uh, you know, that's a really good question. I, that glass dish with the cover is up there. I did leave it out, but someone put it away. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a good thing. You can put that and keep it covered. Okay. Do you want me to grab it for you? or it would, be, it would be best if you could reach up there and get it in the cabinet. I don't know if you can see it. It's a glass bowl with a glass cover. She said the cover is brown. There you go. Look at this. But it does fit that, that one right there. It might be a good size. Look at that. Yeah. So we all get together on a special day and we just start cooking and throwing things together and making it work. All right. And just a reminder of what we used here today. And of course this fresco will go out. Oh, whole milk cheese. You bet. A little more? A little more garlic? A little more salt. A little more salt. I don't think I saw her put any salt in. No, I just did. Oh, okay. That's why I tasted it How much Sometimes salt would you say you put in? I don't know. Do heavy shakes. Okay, heavy shakes. Just like last time. Just get it in there. Make it good. Okay. <laughs> That's our measure. Get it in there and make it taste good. I'm estimating that was at least two uh, teaspoons. Something like that. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> some good, a couple of good healthy shakes of those delicious spices, and we're going to review them. That was, and would you do the same spices with something like the pulled pork? Um, the pulled pork, I'd add oregano. Oregano, okay, which is here. And what else would you put in that pulled pork? Um, but this is basically the same thing. Same thing as the others. Like yeah. the chicken, like this is the Camino, mm -hmm. a.k.a. Cumin. I put more cumin. Well, that's pretty nice. Okay, and the <laughs> onion powder, and the garlic powder, garlic, and salt, and the, we love this pepper, coarse ground black pepper, a beautiful grind, and it's really has a great fresh, 
guys. Black pepper taste. Yes. What do you think? Then? What do you think? Well, hold on. That's cute. Woo! Looking great. Coming back for the rest.